Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with Danielle Giuliano. Well, today is June 1st, and you know what that means. It's the official first day of hurricane season, and as a result, we're watching this cluster of thunderstorms and disturbance down in the southern Gulf there. It's going to make its way into Mexico. It has a 60% chance of development in the next 48 hours and a 60% chance of development in the next five days. No threat to Louisiana. It is going to continue to push off to the west-northwest into Mexico. But... It is the first official day of hurricane season. We've already seen, seen Andrea. Next storm, if that cluster of thunderstorms does become a storm, it'll become Barry, our second name storm of the season. And of course, a lot of names to get through. And it is the first official day. Hurricane season goes through November 30th. Today, though, a very hot day out there. We reached a high of 93 degrees. Normally, we sit around 89 degrees, so a few degrees above average. Our record, although we were close, we did not hit it, thankfully. 100 degrees. That was set back in 2011. Going through some heat tips here. It's that time of year. We need to make sure we're prepared. Stay hydrated. Stay in the air conditioning. Work outside in the morning. If you do have to be outside, make sure you do it in the coolest part of the day. That's the early morning hours. Take breaks in the shade. Wear light colored clothing. Cars. This is very important. Look before you lock. With children, with pets, with anyone, it gets very hot. At pretty much acts as an oven there. So, live sky cam outside. Temperature sitting at 92 degrees, but check it out. Feel like temperature sitting at 99 degrees. In fact, some locations across southeast Louisiana right now, your feel like temperature, your heat index sitting in the triple digits. New Orleans feels like 100 degrees. Gonzales, 95 degrees. Baton Rouge sitting at 99 degrees. But what I want to show you is Hammond sitting at 78 degrees. You want to know why? They saw some showers and storms earlier this afternoon, some of which become severe or became severe. So, again, they've seen a little bit of that rainfall and they've cooled themselves down a little bit. Some of us aren't that lucky and we're keeping those hot and Humid conditions. So, taking you hour by hour, though, we head into tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Still mostly clear skies out there. A beautiful morning, a beautiful but hot morning. You head throughout the afternoon, maybe some spotty isolated showers along coastal parishes, but then you head into your Monday morning at 8 a.m. A little bit of cloud cover, mostly off to our west northwest, but you head into the afternoon, you start to see these isolated pop up showers move onshore. That's just due to the daytime heating, so that's what we've been seeing the last few days. That's going to head into your Monday. We really don't start to increase our rain chances for widespread rainfall until Wednesday and Thursday, Wednesday being our transition day. So, a 20% Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday, those are those isolated spotty showers. Wednesday, your transition day, rainfall Thursday, Friday, and then some spotty showers as you head into your Saturday as well. So, uncomfortably hot out there. Heat index close to 100 degrees. That's going to be the next few days. Make sure you're prepared for that. And spotty afternoon storms are likely. 74, or I should say tonight, 72 degrees. Now your seven day forecast shows those temperatures sticking with us in the 90s the next few days. But remember your heat index, your feel like temperature. That'll be creeping close to 100 degrees. And again, we increase our rain chances Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And you see a little bit of relief there with temperatures dropping back into the upper 80s by Thursday and the lower 90s by Friday. And remember, you can always catch us on the radio. We've partnered up with iHeartRadio of Baton Rouge. Stick with us. We'll be right back with a look at sports.